What if I told you that the fate of AI, and possibly the world's balance of power, was just decided in Paris? The 2025 Paris AI Summit wasn't just another tech conference. It was a global showdown where the world's biggest players, the US, China, the EU, and a rising India, clashed over the future of AI. Would AI remain a free-for-all battleground for the most powerful corporations and nations? Or would governments step in with strict global regulations? Let's break down the most explosive moments from this high-stakes summit. The Global AI Divide, a fractured world. The summit revealed a world split into three major AI blocks, each with its own strategy. One, the United States, innovation at all costs. Two, China, AI as a tool for global dominance. Three, the European Union, AI must be safe, ethical, and regulated. And then there was India, the unexpected wildcard, pushing a bold new AI vision for the global south. Let's dive into how each of these powerhouses played their cards. The US, unleashing AI without limits. The US made it crystal clear. They're not interested in strict AI regulations. Vice President J.D. Vance argued that too many rules would kill innovation before AI even reaches its full potential. The US stance? Let tech giants like OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft lead the charge with minimal government interference. But this hands-off approach sparked serious concerns. Critics warned that without regulation, AI could become a runaway train, leading to mass misinformation, deepfake propaganda, and dangerous biases in decision-making. Yet, despite the risks, America is betting big on AI to stay ahead of China at all costs. China, a new AI superpower? While the US talks about AI leadership, China is already doing it. Beijing isn't just investing billions into AI, it's integrating AI into every part of its economy, military, and infrastructure. At the summit, China shocked the world with a major flex. Its AI firm DeepSeek unveiled a groundbreaking open source chatbot, proving they're not just catching up to OpenAI and DeepMind, they're competing head to head. And here's the twist, China actually signed the International AI Governance Agreement. At first glance, this seems like a huge win for global cooperation. But skeptics wonder, is China really committing to ethical AI? Or is this just a strategic move to influence AI rules in its favor? Europe, the ethical AI advocates, but can they keep up? Unlike the US and China, the European Union is prioritizing safety, transparency, and fairness over speed. Their vision? AI should be accountable, protect workers, and prevent abuses by corporations and governments alike. To back this up, the EU announced a massive 50 billion euros AI investment fund, a bold attempt to stop European AI talent from fleeing to Silicon Valley or Beijing. But here's the challenge. Can Europe regulate AI while still competing in the global AI arms race? Some fear that if the EU goes too far with regulations, it will only push innovation away. And speaking of competition, one country is making a power move that no one saw coming. India, the unexpected AI powerhouse. India wasn't just a participant at this summit, it co-hosted it with France, and they made sure the world was paying attention. Prime Minister Narendra Modi laid out a vision for AI that challenges both the US and China. Instead of AI being controlled by the richest nations and corporations, India is pushing for open source AI, bias-free datasets, and AI accessibility for developing countries. But the real bombshell? India will host the next AI summit in 2026. This cements India's role as a key global player in shaping AI policy, not just for itself, but for the entire global south. And then came the most controversial moment of the summit. The AI Governance Pledge, US and UK say no. One of the biggest takeaways from the Paris summit was the International AI Governance Agreement, a global effort to keep AI safe, ethical, and accessible. A total of 58 countries signed on, but the US and the UK refused. Why did the US reject it? Washington's decision came down to one thing, protecting corporate AI dominance. The US doesn't want international rules limiting the power of OpenAI, Google, and other American tech giants. Some also speculated that Donald Trump's pro-fossil fuel policies played a role. The agreement called for AI to be developed using sustainable energy, something the US administration has been lukewarm about. Why did the UK refuse? Britain had a different take. They argued the agreement was too weak. 
The British delegation claimed that without strong enforcement mechanisms, the agreement was nothing more than symbolic diplomacy. This split between AI superpowers could mean a future where AI is governed by fragmented, competing rules, rather than a unified global framework. And this raises the big question. Will AI remain a wild west of unchecked competition? Or will the world eventually unite on AI safety? The AI future, where do we go from here? The Paris AI Summit didn't solve AI governance. It exposed the deep divisions shaping the future of AI. The US and China are locked in an AI arms race, each trying to outpace the other. The EU wants to be the moral compass, but faces challenges keeping up with the AI giants. India is positioning itself as the AI leader for the developing world. And with India set to host the next AI summit in 2026, the stakes will only get higher. So here's the final question. Will AI shape the future of humanity? Or will humanity lose control over AI? One thing is certain, this is just the beginning. What do you think? Should AI be strictly regulated? Or should it be allowed to evolve freely? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the AI race, hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates on the AI revolution. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.